and welcome to our special series on general elections 2014. Today we are in the holy city of Amritsar, which is famous for the Sikh Shrine Golden Temple. But in these elections, this historic town is at the center of attraction due to an interesting fight between two top political leaders. BJP's candidate out here is Arun Jaitley, who is also the leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha and Congress nominee and former Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh. Today, we will take you on a campaign trail with the Congress candidate Captain Amrinder Singh and try to find out what is his agenda for the people of Amritsar in these elections. Amritsar is the spiritual center for the Sikh religion, home to Harmindar Sahib, also known as Golden Temple. This holy city attracts a large number of visitors throughout the year. But there is something else drawing everyone's attention to this city since last few weeks. And that is the clash of titans for the Amritsar Lok Sabha seat in the ongoing general elections between a battle-scarred veteran fighting for his political survival and a high-profile leader going through baptism by fire. This battle of ballots between Congress candidate Captain Amrinder Singh and BJP nominee Arun Jaitley is all set to go to the wire on 30th April when people of this constituency will come out to cast their vote. Let's take a look at the campaign strategy, election promises and future plans of Congress candidate Captain Amrinder Singh. Here we are at uh, Congress nominee Captain Amrinder Singh's uh, uh, camp office in Amritsar, camp office come residence. Uh, uh, but, sir, uh, around 11 in the morning it's now. Uh, uh, don't you think it's a little late to go ahead and uh, start this uh, all-important fight? Everybody has been out since 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You're bra making and breaking and joining people and getting them. That happens all night and all day, all early morning. Now it is meeting people who come from the villages and now go off into the town and we are out in the town till late in the evening and then we are out in the in, in the city till out of night making and breaking we are breaking all mr jetley's people we we'll leave nobody with him so, okay great so let's let's see let's see exactly as to what uh, uh, is on the cards when uh, captain amrinda is going to go ahead and address those rallies out there Captain Amrinder Singh's cavalcade, which started out well after the scheduled time, is further delayed by the bad condition of the roads leading to his first halt for the day at Bachiwin village, just two kilometers away from India-Pakistan border. Prior to heading for the stage, the veteran politician pays obeisance at the local Gurdwara. After the customary garlanding and welcome speeches, Amrinder Singh once again displays qualities of a veteran leader, establishing a personal rapport with the audience by asking about the previous night's thunderstorm and damage to their crops, if any. फिर ना होए और तुसी जल्दी अपने फसला कट सको आही है जट दी जान और की हुंदी है नेक्स्ट ऑन द एजेंडा इज एन इशू व्हिच सीम्स टू हैव कॉज्ड अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल टू द फार्मर्स इन दीस विलेजेस सिचुएटेड ऑन द इंडिया पाकिस्तान बॉर्डर इट अराइजेस फ्रॉम कंसीडरेबल एग्रीकल्चरल लैंड लाइंग ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द बॉर्डर फेंसिंग मेनू ए नहीं समझ आउंदी के तार बॉर्डर तो इधर क्यों नहीं आए the border is not going to be able to get the people out of the way. Today's work is the work of Delhi. And the work of Delhi is the work of Parliament. That's what we will do. I don't understand why the reason is that the border is going to be able to get out of the way. The reason is that 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 the locals say they are not allowed easy access to their land, which lies on the other side of the fence. कुछ जमीन जो है वो जो fencing हो रखी है, तार जो लगी हुई है, उसके उस तरफ है। 
तो उस है ऐसा कुछ उससे क्या होता है नुकसान है कुछ आप लोगों का नुकसान नहीं होता है क्षति काम नहीं हो देते है बी एस आर है नुकसान नहीं होता बी एस आर काम नहीं हो देते कितने सालों से है ऐसा जो है इसमें पच्चीस साल हो गए तार लगी तो आप लोगों ने सरकार से कुछ मांगा नहीं कुछ मिला नहीं आपको अभी तक ना सरकार कुछ नहीं देती है कितने घंटे काम करने को मिलते हैं आपको उधर दस बजे आप चार बजे शाम बिता दें पीछे में Captain Amrinder Singh makes it a point to visit the area near the border fencing putting across his concern and eagerness to address the seriousness of the issue Realizing the electoral potential of this local issue Captain Amrinder Singh claims the BJP's hawkish stand on Indo-Pak relations will be detrimental to the residents of border areas Jada Modi lad rahe hun Pradhan Mantri banan nu ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਜੰਗ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਤਾਂ ਬਿਆਨ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤਖਤੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਿਪਟਾਂਗਾ ਭਾਈ ਮੋਦੀ ਮਰੇ ਤੇਰੇ ਕੋਈ ਤੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਰਨਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਤੇਰਾ ਕੋਈ ਉੱਥੇ ਕੋਈ ਬੱਚਾ ਮਰਨਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਮਰਨਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਫੌਜਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਕੰਮ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਹੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਫੋਰਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਗ ਐਟ ਹਿਸ ਰਾਈਵਲ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਅਰੁਣ ਜੇਟਲੀ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਆ ਜੇ ਜੱਟ ਨੇ ਹੁਣ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਦਿਖਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਦਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਚ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਲਿਆ ਤੂੰ ਅਗਰ ਕਰ ਲੈਣਾ ਸੀ ਤੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਲੈਣਾ ਸੀ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਜਿਸ ਦਿਨ ਪੇਜ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਤੋਪ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਇਹਨੇ ਧੋਤੀ ਚੱਕ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੋਂ ਭੱਜ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੀ ਦੋ ਦਿਸ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਫॉर ਦੀ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟਰੀ ਸੀਟ ਆਫ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਦਾ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਲੀਡਰ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਚੀਫ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਸ਼ਾਈ ਅਵੇ ਫ্রম ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸਸ ਵਿਚ ਹੀ ਸੇਜ਼ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਫੁਲਫਿਲਡ ਇਫ ਕਾਂਗਰਸ ਕਮਸ ਟੂ ਪਾਵਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸਟੇਟ ਹੋਰ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਰੋਜ਼ੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਖਾਲੀ ਰੇਤੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਰੇਤਾ ਕਿਹਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਅਧਿਕਾਰ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੋਈ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਰੇਤਾ ਰੋਤਾ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਹੀ ਛੱਡ ਜਾਣ ਔਰ ਕੋਈ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀ ਸਕੀਮਾਂ ਬਣਾ ਦੇਣ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਖਬਰ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਹਕੂਮਤ ਆਏਗੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਰੇਤੇ ਨੂੰ ਟੋਟਲ ਡੀਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਕਰ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਛੱਡ ਦਾਂਗੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਰੋ For Punjab the most important election issue is the state's rising drug menace. Amrinder Singh makes it a point to raise the matter at every stop he makes on the campaign trail. At every place he hits out hard at the BJP SAD government putting the blame squarely at their doorstep. Jadon main kehna hai ke bhai tu itthe da mukh mantri nahi ban reha hai. Tu jara dekh ta sahi sade Punjab chhok ke reha hai. ਬੀਬੀ ਉਹ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਨਸ਼ਿਆਂ ਚ ਫਸੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਮਰ ਗਏ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਛੱਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਸਪੇਅਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਰੈਵਨਿਊ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਬਿਕਰਮ ਮਜੀਠੀਆ ਹੂ ਬਿਲੋਂਗਸ ਟੂ ਸ਼ਿਰੋਮਨੀ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਾਦਲ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਤੋਂ ਹੋਣੀ ਹੈ ਭਾਈ ਤੂੰ ਝੂਠ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਝੂਠ ਬੋਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮਜੀਠਾ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਬੇਤਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਇਹ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੋਕਲਸ ਬੋਥ ਇਨ ਰੂਰਲ ਐਂਡ ਅਰਬਨ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਸੀ ਸੇ ਲੈਕ ਆਫ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਡੋਮਿਨੈਂਟ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਇਨ ਥੀਸ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਇੱਥੇ ਗਰੀਬ ਜਨਤਾ ਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਉੱਤੋਂ ਜੇ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਘਰੋਂਦੀ ਥੱਲੇ ਖਲ ਖਾ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੈ ਗਰੀਬ ਬਹੁਤ ਤੰਗ ਨਾ ਦਿਹਾੜੀ ਨਾ ਦਿਉੜੀ ਨਾ ਕਾਰਖਾਨਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਆਏ ਉਹ ਜਨਤਾ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਅੱਛਾ ਸਾਬਿਤ ਹੋ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਜੋ ਮੰਗਾਈ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਚਲੋ ਜੋ ਵੱਧ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਤੋਂ ਹਮ ਰੋਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦੇ ਔ
So it has been almost six hours since we've been trailing Captain Amrinder Singh, the Congress candidate from Amritsar. He's been traveling in the interiors of this district, those villages which lie uh, near the Indo-Pakistan border. And we have heard his speeches as well, issues which he has raised in those villages. We'll take a short break out here and when we come back, we will try and hop on to Captain Amrinder's car and ask him some direct questions. Welcome back. Amidst all the hustle bustle of an election campaign, we have finally managed to grab a seat in uh, Captain Amrinder Singh's vehicle, uh, the Congress candidate and former Chief Minister from the state of Punjab. Uh, sir, uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us this space as well as time. Uh, uh, first question uh, which uh, I would like to ask is, there seems to be a lot of focus uh, uh, on the local issues. Uh, I've heard your speeches at several places. Uh, you, you seem to be focusing a lot on what exactly is happening in the local areas out here rather than uh, uh, apprising them of the national achievements of uh, the UPA government. No, that's not true. Actually, what is there is uh, people here, are, uh, there are three, three sort of, um, like what you ask us, three sort of uh, um, reasons which are people are fighting this election on, let's say. First is the Modi factor. There's no Modi factor here. Number two, on the anti-incumbency of the state government, of the central government, there's no anti-incumbency here. Here there's only one thing, the anti-incumbency of the state government. They are fed up with this government. The sooner they see the back of this government, the happier they will be. And that is what it is. So we are saying about I, that these are the people who are not letting Look, for instance, Jetli. He is the leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, he, out of, I think, 72% of the sittings were boycotted by the BJP, led by him here and in the Lok Sabha by the leader there. Mm -hmm. And together, they have cost the Exchequer 700 crores because it costs the parliament two and a half lakhs a minute to run. So 700 crores have been lost thanks to these the short-sightedness of Jetli and the and the Lok Sabha one. Uh, one, uh, you, you're talking about uh, uh, the the opponent, uh, uh, Mr. Jetli, out here. This campaign, this election campaign, seems to have taken a lot uh, of, of personal tone. Uh, if you look at the exchange of comments between you and BJP's candidate, Mr. Jetli, uh, there seems to be a lot of verbal exchange going on. Uh, why why so? Why not focus on more focus on issues? But there is no verbal exchange. It's an exchange on, you see, the trouble with Jetli is, he's never been in politics. This is my 13th election. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how elections are fought. Mm -hmm. And he thinks we should, he must know that this is Maja. This is one of the strongest parts of Punjab. The men of Maja have got steel in their blood. Mm -hmm. And what does he want, expect us to talk uh, politics uh, like a convent girl? It has to be on the basis of facts and figures and push them across uh, with, uh, with vigor of what you want to do. That is not um, um, any bad language or something. It is just putting your point across in a forceful manner. Uh, what about uh, Shirmani Akali, the leader Vikram Singh Majithia? Because I heard his name in your speeches quite a number of times on several issues uh, and you didn't resist yourself. You, rather, I would say that you didn't mince your words when you're uh, mentioning him in your speeches or even in uh, uh, the comments made. If you no must have noticed, number one, Jetli doesn't Jetli does not feature in these in this election campaign. Jetli comes out in a little form once or twice in words. Nobody cares about Jetli here. You line Jetli up here in this village which we just finished. I don't think even 10% would recognize who Jetli is in this sort of thing because he's not he's not a known figure here. But yes, Majita, he's a neighboring constituency. He's the kingpin of the drug mafia in this area. 
how many thousands and thousands and thousands of children are either dead or are in some way or the other uh, incapacitated by his drugs, which he produces, his synthetic drugs. And yes, he's, he's the main figure. If anybody is hated in Punjab today by the people of Punjab, it is Bikram Singh Majitha. That's a, that's a very strong accusation. Now, uh, now the people of uh, Shiromani Akali Dal and BJP in his defense uh, uh, say that uh, uh, if at all he is guilty and if, they, if at all there is evidence, why didn't the central government take action against him since last uh, 10 years? This is already in the courts. It is a question of the police cracking down. Do you think I've cracked down on him? Is the Punjab police cracked down on him? And who is the Punjab Home Minister? His brother-in-law, Mr. Mr. Badal, Jr. And who is the Chief Minister? He is the senior Badal, who is the Chief Minister. They know jolly well that he has been doing this and the police has cracked down on him. And uh, I haven't asked the police. They are not my police to crack down on him. And they, they still uh, now have to go to court. Now the enforcement directorate has taken it on. And uh, he will be caught. Uh, you, you spoke about uh, the issue of uh, drug menace out here in Punjab and uh, uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, the, the other local issues which seems to be uh, uh, playing dominantly out here. But then one major issue which seems to be uh, a cause of concern for many in Amritsar is also uh, the ties between two nations, that's India and Pakistan. It's a national issue, no doubt about it. But then both... Both, the comments have come in from both you and Arun Jaitley. Both of you seem to be on the same page out here. It's a fact. I mean, I don't know about Arun Jaitley, but I can tell you that in 2003, when I was going to Pakistan, the Prime Minister asked me to meet the uh, various uh, leaders there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told them, I said, we want any, uh, to have some sort of exchanges mm -hmm. so that we could have a better sort of a uh, relationship developing, mm -hmm. which should ultimately lead to economic ties. Mm -hmm. And I hope that should have been carried on because I'll tell you, Amritsar and all these border cities of Ferozpur, Amritsar, Dera Baba Nanak, Jammu, Pathan Kot, these are all cities that existed on trade. And trade in 47 died. Now, what we need is that there's, there's, this trade should reopen. And reopen not only to Pakistan, but Pakistan, a corridor will open to, the, to Central Asia and a corridor will open to Middle East. And we should have train connections between Amritsar and Lahore and then going on further from there so that large uh, cargo etc can be carried from these not by these little trucks and coolies at the border carrying each sack across on there that's that's no way of running uh, modern industry and modern trade one, one, one more issue, uh, Captain Sab, out here is uh, the issue of property tax. Now, uh, there is a round of allegations and counter allegations between you and the BJP and uh, Shiromani Kaldal government out here. They say that you're responsible, you say that they're responsible. But people uh, believe that uh, that's something which is uh, very unfair to them. Let me tell you, it's a completely a sadistic tax. You are making people pay so much that if they had to uh, 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 hire their own house, they would have had to pay less. Now, what has happened here? In our government's time, the, when we asked for World Bank aid, they, they linked it to taxes because we were not giving any tax of any sort, uh, even not for water, not for electricity, not for anything. So our chief secretary had written a memorandum to the government of India suggesting that if the government agrees, let us do our homework and see what is the type of memorandum we should have. and that informally came up for discussion in the cabinet and the cabinet rejected it. So it was not a cabinet decision. It's only a memorandum of understanding produced by the chief secretary to negotiate with the government of India that what really should be that. That's the chief secretary's job to do that. Now, in nine, nine, 2009 or 2008, this government set this more thing in motion again because they ran out of money. And they put property tax down on in 2013, which is last year, mm -hmm. there has been no property tax here for the last 15 years. Okay. It has been put here only last year. And then whose, whose government was it last year? It was theirs. So, so they are the ones who put the property tax and it, I have just paid my property tax just now. Don't you agree that uh, uh, the, the communication of uh, the party has been a little lax uh, and, and, and the benefits uh, so, so far, either they have not reached or if they have reached and the people are not aware of these schemes? Is, is, is there, was there some communication gap? No, no, no. Narega is one of them. Everyone knows what Narega is. Everyone's getting their money. And they, they, the whole Narega is working very well. That what about UPA 2's performance? UPA 1, fine, there were many, many programs. These programs are also in UPA 2. Mm -hmm. It's a continuation. In, haven't you seen our 
current uh, uh, manifesto. Mm -hmm. The ones that were not able to be passed in UPA 2, we brought them back for the, for the next government. It's part of our manifesto. These are, and who has stopped them? That is the problem is that nobody seems to be asking who has stalled them. Why hasn't UPA 2 been able to pass these bills? Primarily because of BJP's boycott. 75% of your sittings were boycotted. 75% of Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Okay. Uh -huh. So you believe that if, if, if more time could have been given to uh, the, no. the proper functioning of parliament, uh, more bills could have passed? I think if the parliament had functioned and if these chaps had done their responsible job as, a leader, as opposition, then yes, I think so many bills would have passed and, and they would have been today law and people would have benefited from them. It is all for the people. It's not for Amrinder Singh or for anybody else. It is for the common man, the poor of this country. One problem with the the, uh, the Punjab Congress, that the state unit of the Punjab Congress, has been a deeply rooted factionalism, uh, groupism, uh, and this time around, it seems uh, uh, all all so-called groups and factions seems to have come together. They they they're sort of uh, you know all all senior leaders are busy in their own uh, uh, areas. Uh, you're you're a candidate from Amritsar. Ambika Soni also is contesting elections. So is Pratap Singh Bajwa. Bajwa. There are there are other candidates as well. Uh, but uh, recently, a dictate has been issued asking all. Uh, uh, party men to uh, immediately go back to their respective areas. Do you believe that uh, some sort of, uh, you know, um, uh, factionalism is still underway? Look, the, what you call factionism is purely uh, a style of uh, um, discussion, which you guys think that everyone's at each other's throats. That's not the case. What is the case is that we are senior people. We have been through government. Mrs. Bhattal has been through government. Uh, Sunil Jakhar is our, our uh, uh, leader of the CLP. They're all senior people. If we sit across a table and we disagree on something, is that fighting? I mean, eventually, on most times, there is consensus. And once consensus is reached, it, it, it becomes party policy. Nobody is fighting over things. You just have an open discussion. Why do you always feel that if I disagree with Mrs. Bhattal, I'm fighting with her? That's not a question of this. It's just, it's a pure case of uh, any country would have these discussions and, uh, and uh, any party in a democracy would have these discussions and there's no such thing as fighting. Okay, last question is, what is Captain Amrinder Singh's uh, 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 agenda for uh, the city of Amritsar, for the Lok Sabha constituency of Amritsar? No. Firstly, I have, for some reason, I don't know why I did it, but in, two th in, two 19, in 2006, when I was Chief Minister, I had a 25-year plan made for Amritsar called uh, Amritsar 2025. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. August 2006 is produced mm -hmm. and it's called City Development Plan Amritsar 2025. Mm -hmm. Now, this is for here. For this urban area, uh, rural areas, mm -hmm. we are on the borders. There are a lot of problems with our border farmers because a lot of, the, of, of their land for some stupid reason is beyond the, beyond the wire. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, jobs. Jobs means industry. Indi means, in, industry means infrastructure. Infrastructure includes power. We'll have to bring power somehow to get this. And thirdly, these Akalis are not going to give us any money to run it. They're still there for two and a half years. We'll have to get some international projects in, maybe uh, something to do with the World Bank or Asia Development Bank or something for things like sewage, drinking water and all, which they normally give. And bring that because, you know, if you look at this, this plan, in 1947, it was three and a half lakh people was the population. Now we are 12 lakh people, and the infrastructure is the same. Uh, in, in another five, seven years, we are going to be 15 lakh people. How will Amritsar be able to cope with this if we don't start plans, uh, planning for it now and implementing it now? Okay, thank you so much. So this was uh, Captain Amrinder Singh, the Congress's candidate from uh, the seat of Amritsar, expressing confidence that this time around it is he who is going to win this closely fought contest on this particular seat. But for that, we'll have to wait and watch till 16th of May when the final results are out. Till then, keep watching Rajasabha Television.